collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Jan Blahovich. All right, here he is, one of the best Muay Thai kickboxers on this roster, and he's often fond of saying, DC, there's no pads, there's no gloves on my knees and my elbows and my feet, and he certainly puts all those weapons to good use. Well, he feels released, right? He feels released. When he's wearing all that training gear, there are confinements. He's being confined. When he takes it all off and he has an ability to go in there and damage his opponent, he feels like the shackles have been taken off, so he throws that right elbow right across to try to cut the eye left elbow, big knee, and then when he grabs that Muay Thai clinch, you are truly, truly in trouble because he will drive that back knee into the midsection. When you start to try to take the hips back, he will shift you, right. kick the foot down into one of those great Muay Thai takedowns. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal striker. And he came into the octagon with a lot of high-level Muay Thai competition and tournament wins to his credit and certainly has gotten off on the right foot here in the octagon. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blachowicz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, I'll be back to you. Well, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete. Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A., and when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity, the greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. A oh, little single collar tie there. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. And now he's got that tight punch. Oh, that right hand is on point. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Just missing on the uppercut there. Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Circling away towards the left now. Battle for position here. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Just missing on the counter there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Choi. Oh, knee to the head. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Big head kick. So 28 total strikes have already landed for Jan Guajo. And he landed the right hand there. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow in the clinch. Oh, eats a knee. Single collar tie now. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Blahovic. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch there by Blahovic. Big power shot there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, that hurts to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, really causing a lot of damage to those legs of his opponent. Yeah, he's doing a great job of landing the leg kicks for the opponent. He needs to start trying to relax. Relaxation allows you to check kicks. If you're tense, if you're biting on face, if you're biting on the guy just throwing jabs at your head, you're not going to check kicks. Relax. They come. Recognize who's coming in your direction. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Blahovich gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Big punch for the Clinton. And both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> Went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, nice lead of the head forward there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Boy, Todd Clubs. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Boom! Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Big elbow there. Nice loop and punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big head kick land. He can't even, he can barely stand. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, single collar tie here. Well placed kick there by Bajo. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. There's no give on that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Just out of range with that right hook. Eighty-three total strikes have already landed for Jan Vahovic. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. Thirty-eight percent thus far against Jan Vahovic. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. Oh, a huge block there. Wachowicz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really has us let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on this play here. 30 seconds to go in round two. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Wachowicz gets hit with a kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Blahovic. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ten minutes in the books. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but... That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight.
All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Yes, so you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the guy. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Back and forth we go. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Head kick. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Miss with that jab attempt there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, nice strike landed there by Blahovich. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will just change the target down low, trying to find finish. Back and forth we go! Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Joy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Boaho. Right there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Choi's got the tie clinch now. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Strike. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing his nasty, vicious elbow. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Changes his stance. Oh, beautiful. 
Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Nice kick. And continues with the inside leg kick. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And threw it with ill intent. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect the spot to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Punch by the Korean Super Bowl. What a tricky head kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch. Wahovich gets absolutely punished by that head kick. And a miss with the right hook. Beautiful kick. Real nice body kick land. Damaging strike there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice leg kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Caught that. No, oh, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Wachowicz's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. What a punch. They continue to exchange. Sound the target with that left hand. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knee slot. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Oh, single collar tie here. Strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Effective strike there by Wahovic. Plus, right hand is true. And just misses with that big right hand. He's so committed to body punch. Gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Huge knee lands. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Boy, tie plump. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by TKO, no Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.